Hi there. In this video, I want to give a quick walkthrough of what we from Wageningen Universiteit in Research offer our students on Brightspace to assist them with their courses at home. On the course homepage, we get a quick overview of what is offered to the students. In this text, they will be explained how this page works, what is necessary for them to use, and how they can get all the other information that is part of this web page. When we go to the content of this course, we got a lot of information available for the students. For example, we've got explanations of what is happening to their education. With this, we explain to them what is currently going on, what our plans are as Wageningen Universiteit and Research, and what they can do to maintain their education. On this page, there are several different subjects which link to other interesting topics where these students can get information and how to ask for help. These go in with several links for introduction videos and other help. We also got a chapter about how to learn from home. In this chapter, we have several subjects that will explain how to best work from home. We have a quick video that shows you how to navigate Brightspace and how Brightspace is set up. We have some information about your personal settings, how to manage your notifications and how to keep track of your progress. We've also got some information about the mobile device app for Brightspace that's called Pulse. There are several links that will help the student in how to navigate Brightspace. For example, we've made a quick introduction video on how to use Brightspace. We've also made a specific chapter about online learning habits. This contains an online behavior checklist, an e-learning course on how to prevent health problems, and an online study habits. There is also a quick online e-learning course on how to work from home and prevent any health-related problems that might be caused by computer work. Besides all of that, we have a discussion forum. On this discussion forum, we try to connect students with each other to prevent isolation. For example, we have topics about how to organize your own online get-togethers. In this topic, we prevent what students can do to prevent social isolation, which result from the coronavirus. 